Hi, I'm Stephen from Drovo. In this video, we will look at how to log time entries in Caseload, including tracking accurate time on email imports, document production, and event creation. The topics covered in this video will be new time entries on the matter, how to select the activity code for the time entry, explaining the rationale behind our work in progress tiles, how to enter a summary and a narrative, and then viewing the mini sheet as your day progresses to see what time recording entries have been made. Going into a matter, you will see the, on the new button the option to add new time entries. These time entries relate to a particular work type, so they will be different depending on what you're looking to charge in this instance. For this one here, we're going to select meeting a qualified time. And you'll see it's going to bring up some information on the work in progress in terms of what the balance is at, the work that we are looking to charge in addition to this along with what is available in against the WIP limit at the moment. So the fee earner should default to yourself if you're recording the time. You are able to select another fee earner within the organisation to charge this time against. And the same with the date. The date will default to today's date, but you can choose to select other dates as required on the dropdown. The activity is going to be named as the one that you've just selected from the new time entry button. But you are able to edit the summary as required. So if you were to edit that, you'll see that will then, as we tab, bring in the meeting summary and narrative. And that's now been saved. The start time and end time is what will focus on either the direct job charge or the, the meeting information. So if you were to do this for 30 minutes, you see it's going to bring 30 minutes. So that's five units and a charge of £65. You'll see that's automatically updating the whip balance and the difference there. So you're able to see where this information is coming from. Now you will notice that the, the amount in there is £107.25, but we are just charging £65. If you look at the mini sheet options, you will see there has been earlier charges, so a letter and a telephone call against this client, which is the, the difference in that charge as well. So if you now save and close and click on the time tab, and look at unposted time entries, you see all three are available and that's what makes up that £107.25. So the charges from earlier, along with the meeting charge, now have the work in progress on this particular job as £107.25 of unposted time entries.